Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to show you how to make these kawaii miniature Polaroid picture charms using polymer clay and some acrylic paint. So let's get started. Firstly, we're going to be making the Polaroid picture frame. So begin by taking some white polymer clay and then we're going to roll this down. To help me make sure that my sheet of clay is even in thickness, I'm taking two popsicle sticks and I'm placing them on my work surface with my clay in between. Then here I'm just taking my clay roller and flattening the clay down. Next you want to use your blade and you want to trim the clay to the size that you would like and also make it into a rectangle. I then went ahead and made some more of these as well. Now it's time for the kawaii face. So I firstly rolled a coil of black clay and I cut off two little sections which I rolled into balls for the eyes. I then used my dotting tool to create two indents on the Polaroid frame where I wanted the eyes to go and then I added in these two balls of clay inside. For the mouth I added on a thin new shape of black clay and then finally for the cheeks I dusted on some pink chalk pastel powder using a small paintbrush. I also added an eye pin into the top of my Polaroid picture so that I can make it into a charm later on. For the actual picture part that we're going to be painting later on, there are a few different options of how you'd like to do it. You can do what I'm doing here and take a large white plastic sheet and then just cutting off little squares to size. But if you don't have a sheet of plastic, you could also use polymer clay. So you'll just need to roll a thin sheet of white clay and then trim it to size. It's then time to bake the Polaroid picture frame and also the little Polaroid square if you decided to go with that method. So next up you want to grab your acrylic paint and here I've just got a bunch of different brands. They're all pretty cheap ones but it doesn't really matter. And then we're just going to create gradients. So I'm going to be using these makeup sponges which I cut into little sections. To help me hold the Polaroid picture, I'm going to be blue tacking my little white square onto a scrap of resin which will just help me to hold it and move it around without having to actually touch it or ruin the design. So to create the gradient on my first Polaroid picture, I began adding the colours onto my makeup sponge with my brush and I just put them into stripes. The colours that you want to be using, you want to make sure that they're next to each colour on the colour wheel so that they blend really nicely together. You then just need to dab the paint onto the plastic or the clay square and allow it to dry before then adding a few more coats and this will just help to darken the colours and also create a nice smooth gradient. To create the clouds, I pulled off a piece of the makeup sponge using a pair of tweezers and then I just added some paint to the end of this and again I just added this onto the picture to create the texture of the clouds. Next to make the stars in the sky, you can use some white acrylic paint and a needle tool and I just went ahead and tapped this all over the top part of the picture in the darker colours. I also decided to paint on a little moon as well. Next before adding the black silhouette I brushed over a layer of glaze just so that if I make any mistakes with the black paint I can easily wipe them off and remove them without ruining any of the sky details. Again I'm just using my needle tool and I'm painting on some Powerline silhouettes. For my next sunset Polaroid, I'm going to be using much brighter colours. So here I'm using a bright yellow down the bottom, an orange in the middle, and then a pinky purple at the top. Again, I'm just lightly dabbing the makeup sponge onto the white plastic, and I'm doing this a few times to build up the colour. Of course, in between each layer, I'm also letting it dry. You can then add a thin layer of glaze to help protect the gradient that we just made and then begin adding the black silhouette details. On this one I painted three little birds flying in the sky and then down the bottom of the picture I added some blades of grass and I also turned some of these into little stalks of wheat. 
For the next one, I wanted more of a greeny blue looking sky. So I began with a light green color moving to an aqua and then a darker blue at the top. You can also see that I originally started with some yellow, but I later removed the yellow because it was looking too bright for what I wanted. I dabbed the sponge onto the plastic and I did a few layers of this to help darken the colors. Next, I used a little piece of sponge again and I added some white paint on the end. And this was to help me try and create a kind of cluster of stars or galaxy up in the sky. To add some extra details, I used my needle tool and white acrylic paint to paint on some little stars in the sky. And then I also used a small brush and some black paint and I just painted some mountains towards the bottom of the picture. For this next one, I used some bright colors again. So there's yellows and bright pinks, purples and blues. And then I just kind of put them onto the sponge in random places for this one. Here I'm using my little piece of sponge to dab on some white paint for a cluster of stars in the sky. And if you do accidentally add too much white paint, then you can wet your sponge slightly to help thin the paint and also blend it out. I used my needle tool to create some stars in the sky. And then I added my layer of glaze over top, which I did forget to do with the last few designs. I decided to paint some little forest trees on this one. So you can firstly paint some lines for the trunk and then go ahead on the sides and add some paint for the branches. And you kind of want to make them into a triangular shape. Moving on to my very last miniature painting, this one has a creamy color at the bottom, a pink in the center, and then a purple at the top. Then I just dabbed a few coats of this one onto my Polaroid. Next, you can use your black paint to create a silhouette down the bottom, and I'm painting on the horizon with my paintbrush. Now that we have all our baked kawaii Polaroid frames and our little pictures, we can go ahead and stick them all together. To add the pictures onto the frames, I'm gonna be using some super glue. So I just applied a small amount onto the clay and then I carefully positioned on each of the sunset pictures. I also used my super glue to secure the eye pin in so that it wouldn't fall out. And then I added a layer of UV resin as my glaze over top of the whole charm to make it nice and shiny and also add a layer of protection. So here are what my miniature Polaroid pictures look like once they're completely finished. I really love the way these turned out, especially because they are kind of combining two of the things that I'm really loving at the moment. Of course, making kawaii charms and then also painting silhouette images, which I have been doing a lot of lately, as you can probably tell from my nail art. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.